<laughs> All right. Hey, we know Terry is a secure guy, and it's a good thing today because this weekend the University of Louisville recognized the National Girls and Women in Sports Day. And here to celebrate women athletes who inspire us at U of L, Rebecca Manick from the field hockey team. Hello. Let's have you raise your hand. So when we call your name, just so we know who's who. Kaylin Morissette is next to what is your name? Oh, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> And you play lacrosse? Oh, we're going to love talking a little lacrosse with you. And Aaron Yenny's a soccer player. Christine Herring's next to me, senior women administrator at the University of Louisville. Women's sports is, is better than ever at U of L. Yes, it is. We're at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Tom Jurich, this is a big p component of his mission at U of L. Absolutely. He's all of our sports are fully funded, so all 23 sports. It, it was a goal of Tom's when he came here to make sure that. Women were equally represented as the men. So. Yeah, well, his two daughters, of course, played, and one of them worked here on our yeah, staff, so they we know all field of them. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. and let's come down the line there because uh, this Sunday, many of you all are going to be recognized during the basketball game. And tell us a little bit about the sports you play and how how you all are here at U of L. Very competitive, right? And everything. Yeah, I play field hockey here, and just the facilities that like we are given as a team is amazing and the opportunities that we're given as a team as a woman's sport too is outstanding so mm -hmm. and were you a field hockey star in your high school um, come on say <laughs> yes I am they're not they're watching so humble, for heaven's sakes where is where was home originally before Louisville um, I'm originally from Rhode Island from Rhode yeah. Island well, see the reason you say that is because we want everybody to know that U of L teams are always an assemblage of high school all stars <laughs> Absolutely. Whoever the greatest right. athlete was is here <laughs> and let's talk a little bit of soccer right what yeah. position do you play I play midfield. Mm -hmm. And where was home before here for you? Ohio. Ohio. We're in Ohio? Troy. It's All right. About three hours away. And then, yeah. oh, go ahead. Yeah, just tell us about our soccer program here at U of L. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've, we've had a great season last year. We have a great coach. Our team, we lost a lot of seniors this past year, but we're gaining a lot of freshmen, and we're coming back with a fresh start. You know, with what Becca was saying, we, we did a uh, competition with them this morning at 6 30. Oh um, we're pushed really hard. And it's just because we're we're working to be the best the best teams in the nation. And you're also so. getting a new house for soccer. Yes, we are. I yeah, know. that's kind of sweet. I, know. Awesome. I was, saw the construction when I was out there the other day. Let's talk a little lacrosse here. We've got a Canadian in the house, <laughs> and I said that usually means you start young. You play lacrosse. Mm -hmm. What age did you start playing? Started playing when I was three. Three? Yep. I could barely walk at <laughs> three, for heaven's sakes. It is really just ingrained in, mm -hmm. in Canada for things like that, yeah, right? You either play lacrosse or hockey, so, and I played both, so. You did, and you mm -hmm. said you grew up playing with the boys. Yes, I did. Did it make you tougher, or? I think so. I used to get, um, like, made fun of for being the only girl on the, on the field, so. But it made me a little bit more tough. How many broken bones have you had, Kaylin? I've only had one. I oh, broke come my, on! I only broke my toe. <laughs> so that was it. You are tough. <laughs> but tell me now, because girls with lacrosse, mm -hmm. I mean, that can be a physical sport as mm -hmm. well. So tell me about that, the competition with women in these kinds of sports. Um, well, lacrosse, like, there's not any, like, contact. You can't really hit. But I'm thinking we, of the boys. Yeah, yeah you're getting hit, thinking of the boys. But girls, um, they can body up, so they hit our arms a lot. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten hit with a couple shots behind the net a few times. And so. that ball's not soft. No, it's an Indian <laughs> rubber ball. It's, uh, it's pretty hard, so. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, tell us what you would like to say when we recognize women. I mean, we've come such a long way and, and have made such great strides. Absolutely. I think that National Girl and Women in Sports Day is a, a fantastic opportunity for us to celebrate our current student, female student athletes, and our alumni. So that's something that this year we're doing. We're bringing back all of our alumni, honoring them. Awesome. Um, so. And Great. I love the fact that you said, you know, you got made fun of because you were the only girl. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen so much anymore, which is great, which shows that we're everywhere now, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, proud all, of all of you, and you're, uh, you can throw those L's up on this show anytime you want. Yeah. Right? We're always Thank glad to have you all, all so here. Much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, University of Louisville are, is going to honor its current and former female athletes with a special halftime presentation at this Sunday's women's basketball game. The Cardinals, 19 and 1 overall, having a pretty good run. They play Memphis at one Sunday at the KFC Yum Center for tickets 852-5151. So come on out and support our women.